which of the following boxes should replace the question mark to complete the pattern. So we've got three figures here and straight away I can see they have the exact same shape inside them. The shapes are just in different positions. So I'm going to take one of the shapes, compare it with the different figures to try and find the pattern. So I'm going to choose the arrow facing up just because it's the easiest to see. So I see in figure one it's in the top right and in figure two it's at the bottom right and in figure three it's in the bottom left. So looking at this I can say that the arrow facing up is going at a 90 degree angle clockwise. And what this means is as it was in the top right, bottom right, bottom left, we would expect it to be in the top left. Meaning when we look at our answer options, we can already take out B and E as they don't follow this rule. And now I'm going to look at what's around the arrow facing up. And we can see there are two arrows pointing to the right. And when I look at figure two, it's the exact same thing. And in figure three, it's the same thing. And when I compare this with my answer options of A, C and D, I can see that D is not following this of the arrow going right and also C is not following this of the arrow going right. A is and as it's the only option left, A will be our final answer.